Hey, what's going on everyone? Naka here. I hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. So today, once again, I'm bringing you an MW2 IW4X video, but today is not actually going to be a trick shotting video because I'm not going to be playing the game. I'm just going to be hanging out on the main menu. You might be wondering, what do you mean you're just hanging out on the main menu? You're not going to play the game for us? That's why we came to your channel, to watch you play the game. Now today, I'm actually going to be going over titles and emblems, which I know you guys think, oh, what do you mean going over titles and emblems? That's weird. And not just any titles and emblems. We're going to be going over these custom titles and emblems. As you can see, I got this one with the Boston skyline with OGK in the background. Then I got the Ditto emblem. I think it's Ditto. I never played Pokemon or anything. Then I got a UC Prestige icon. So as you guys can see, I got a bunch of custom stuff here. Like, look at all these custom emblems and stuff I got. I got a bunch of custom titles as well. And here, let me go slower so you guys can actually see everything. Look at all that stuff. And if you guys are wondering how to get some of this stuff, not all of it is being given out at once with this pack. Some stuff is going to be given out over time. But I'm actually giving out a good amount of the stuff. My custom stuff that I've been using in videos for like months now. So you might have seen a lot of these titles, a lot of these emblems. But uh, we have a lot of new ones as well that you guys haven't seen. I asked on Twitter if anyone had anything I could give away because I wanted to make a good pack, you know what I mean? You guys have been supporting me, you deserve a good pack. And a bunch of people gave me some sick stuff, like I've never had this title before. Or this title, but I had people supply a bunch of cool... Oh, the High Rise Crane one? I just got distracted, that's how sick that one is. But yeah, I got supplied with a bunch of dope titles today. I'm gonna be giving a bunch of them out. Uh, here, let me get into the tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can get them. Well, let me go through with some more of them real quick. Oh, that is so good. Okay, we're running out of the custom ones. Ooh, that kind of is a good combo. I keep distracting myself, though. Let's get into the tutorial. Then I'm going to show off a showcase and show you guys what you're actually getting with this pack. Since, like I said, you're not getting all of those. But you are getting a good amount. If you guys do like the titles, emblems, and BO1 prestige icons that I'm giving out in this pack, please make sure to drop a like rating on the video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you're going to be downloading and using. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe as I do upload MW2 IW4X videos daily. Most of the time, they're trick shotting videos. I know some of you guys might come to this video that aren't trick shotters. So if you do like that type of content, my channel is definitely for you, so make sure to subscribe and stay a while. Hi right, guys, let's get into the real action of this video, the tutorial. Alright, so your first step is you're going to be going into your browser, which you probably already have open if you're watching this tutorial. And you're going to be going to the link that's going to be in the description eventually, but since this video isn't made yet, uh, I have to type it in. It's tiny.cc slash NECA with a capital N, call signs with a capital C, then 1. And it's going to bring you to this Google Drive folder called NECA Title and Emblem Pack IW4X. And you're going to see three folders with Titles, Emblems, and BO1 Prestiges. Alright, so once you get to this part, you're going to either highlight all these folders, or you're just going to click the name at the top and click Download. And you're going to see at the bottom right, it says Zipping One File. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, it might take about a minute to zip. But once that's done, it's going to pop up in your downloads right about down here. I don't know, yeah, you guys can see my mouse. And uh, yeah, you guys will see it pop up there, and then we'll cut to the next step. Alright, so once it's downloaded, you're going to click on it once you find wherever you downloaded it to. For me, it was just a desktop, so it was easy to find. And then you're going to click on here, and you're going to click Extract To when you see the NECA Title Underscore Emblem Pack folder thing. And you're going to extract that once again to wherever you want. I already did mine. I did mine to the desktop. So you're going to click OK. Uh, I'll do it again. It'll just make another folder. We'll use this one for the tutorial's sake. And then once you go into this folder, you're going to pick whatever you want. I know some people don't like rock and custom everything, like some people only want the prestiges, some people might only want some of these emblems because there is a bunch of them, uh, some people might only want titles, etc. For this tutorial sake, I'm going to use all three folders, but you can pick and choose what you want for sure. Alright, so the first one we're going to do, well actually before we do anything, we have to go into the IW4X folder, which you can find by right clicking your IW4X and going to open file location. Or if you don't know where the IW4X button is, you can always just go into your program files. That's most likely where you saved it. It might be in your downloads or something, but most people is in their program files. And then you're going to go into user raw right here, this folder. And you're going to see two folders called demos and logs. If you've already followed my custom camo tutorial, you'll know that you have a folder called images. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I feel like I keep saying that. But I'm going to assume that you don't want, or you haven't watched that tutorial and you don't have that folder yet. So we're going to make a new folder called images, all lowercase. Once you have that folder made, you're going to do the same exact thing you did in my camo tutorial. But like I said, I'm going to assume you haven't watched that yet. And all you do is you find these .iwi files. It's as simple as going into the images folder and then just dragging all of these in. So I just took all these .iwi files, just drag them into that folder. It's that easy. I'm going to go into the BO1 prestigious, do the same exact thing. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing here again for titles. And once we got all of those in that folder, 
I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna show you what the pack has. Here, let me load up IW4X real quick and pick up my controller. Hopefully my mic didn't cut out there as I got too far from it, but if it did, oh well. All right, so we got IW4X loaded up. Oh, it's not showing my custom title because the one I use personally isn't gonna be part of this pack, but there is a bunch of other ones. Here, so let me turn off my custom title real quick, which you can do by going into the command by clicking the little tilde key or the squiggly line and doing the command slash custom title, then quotation mark, space quotation mark. Once you do that, you'll see that you have a blank title so that you can play around with all of these. So yeah, let me show you guys all the titles and emblems that come in this pack real quick. I didn't make any of them. I can't take any credit. I just threw the pack together with a bunch of people's different packs. I'm not stealing anything. Just think of me as like DJ Khaled of the titles and emblems. <laughs> a bunch of people gave me their stuff. I put it together and made one big pack. So here, without further ado, check out this game winning kill title by Marshall. Uh, he makes a bunch of titles and emblems in this game, especially the ones in this pack. He made a majority of them, but... Most of the ones you've seen in my videos in general, not even just in this pack, and in other people's videos, he's made so many of them, he's like the custom king of IW4X, seriously. He also made this one on this page, and uh, probably, yep, this one as well. Uh, this straight up throw knife one, which looks pretty sick. What else do we got? I know there's another one. Uh, the remote viewer one, the Cronus, that's funny. And the matrix menu, if you know, you know. What else? I know there was another one. Yep, this is the one I was thinking of. The High Rise Crane. This one is absolutely beautiful. Ramos would love that one. Uh, what else? This one is like Interstellar, I think he said. That one is really cool. I don't know what these ones are, but once again, they're sweet. All of those ones are by him. And now, as we get into this page, this is where it starts getting different. Well, not yet, because this one is also by Marshall, and so is this one. But the rest of these, like this locked one, this one, this one, the joint, the Infinity Ward, uh, and these titles that look like they should have been an MW2, uh, they're actually cut MW2 titles. Besides this one, I don't know about this one. It came from Parallel Flavors pack. I don't know who made it. Shout out to him, though, for putting it in the pack. But the rest of these, like all the Horseman ones, and these glass, and all these, they're actually all cut titles from MW2, so they were in the files including this pink scar and the graffiti. Infinity Ward and their designers made all of these. They actually just ended up getting cut from the game, so they never made it in. Except the locked one, I'm pretty sure that's literally just for locked titles and emblems. But um, yeah, it covers, I have it replacing a flag. But yeah, all these horsemen ones are pretty sick actually. And then as we get into here, we got the UC, instead of the um, gold skulls, we have the purple UC titles. These all look dope, there's a bunch of them over here, but all the same title obviously. And yeah, you can see I'm missing a few titles I would normally have, like the OGK title would be right there, but you guys can get that in the OGK pack, I didn't want to give that one out as part of my pack. But yeah, you get all these other custom ones which are pretty sweet. Like I love this graffiti one, that one looks so dope, the fire one looks good too. Uh, the joint one was cool, but here's where it gets good, we get into the emblems, oh we love to see the emblems. We got the OGK one, we got the knack, all the 550s. The peeled, the OGK like ghost thing. And if you guys don't know what these are, all of these are my emotes on Twitch. The Marvel logo as well. These two aren't. These are MW3 emblem. Well, this is an MW3 emblem. This came from Flavors Pack. And all of these ones after that, these are all my emotes. Like, that looks so good, guys. So in this part, I was talking about my emotes on Twitch. I forgot to give my Twitch a shout out though, so I'm gonna give it a little shameless plug. Twitch.tv slash MattNecca, live every night streaming MW2 IW4X. Come stop by and watch some live build cams. Okay, back to the tutorial. I don't know, these came out perfectly in game. I don't think they could have looked better in game. The 550s and everything, the peeled, all of them look good to me, not gonna lie. Uh, this is another custom cut emblem. It's not a custom emblem, but it's one that was in the game and it got taken out. Same with this one, this one, this one. There's a lot of that got taken out. This one, I kind of see why they did. They're not that great, but hey, there's something. They're different. The baseball, a uh, print, the locked emblem, of course. You could do a locked title and emblem combo. That could be pretty cool. And then here's where we get into the good stuff. Uh, the BO1 prestiges are all right here. I don't know if you guys can hear my mice. Uh, my mouse clicking if you can i apologize for that these are classic though everyone loves them then we have these two animated emblems the scream face with stabbing of course and then the shooting pistol oh we have another animated emblem over here it's like the spinning diamond i don't know it kind of reminds me of the twitch bit symbol but i don't know if that's what it's supposed to be i think it's from a game or something 
And then we got all of these ones. Oh, this is where it gets good. We got, of course, the 10th Prestige, or be a 115th for the 10th. And then we got all these animated ones. We got the Devil. We got the Lego Man. I forgot to give credit as I've been going through. Damn, I suck. The Lego Man is by Marshall. Uh, this one is by someone in Forex. I forget who, but I'll leave his link in the description. He made a whole Pokemon. Pokemon, what am I saying? He made a whole Pokemon pack. I'll leave that in the description. This one is from Flavors Pack. It isn't from that other one. Uh, this one is by Marshall. It's an emblem of a dab being taken. Obviously, that's a pretty dope one. This is from Flavors Pack as well. This pentagram is from the kid in 4X. I'm so sorry I forget your name, man. I really I do apologize for that. I will put you in the description, though. This one's from Flavors Pack. Flavors Pack. Flavors Pack. Uh, all the BO1 prestiges are from Flavors Pack as well. And all of the other ones I think I've gone through so far have been either my emotes on Twitch that are by Caddies and Saki. Saki made uh, the OGK ones and the rest are all by Caddies. And besides that, the rest of them are all MW3 emblems. Well, not MW3 emblems, this one is, but MW3 or emblems that just got cut from MW2. Oh, that's a pretty fire looking combo. Look at that. Both of these look pretty good. But now we're going to get on to the last of the custom emblems and that are the ones that replace all the gun icons. And as you can see, we have... Ooh, that looks good. I think that's a Hunger Games or something. I might be completely wrong. If I am, don't clown me. That looks fire, though. Hey, no pun intended. We got the Kirby, the Ghostbusters, uh, the PlayStation, the classic PlayStation, this little No Mercy thing. As you can see, though, there's a bunch of these that don't get replaced. Ooh, there's a Rose one back here. I didn't even see that. Um, but Ties has a pack where actually every single one of these will be replaced. I'll show that off if I remember at the end of the video, but if not, in the description or in a pinned comment or something. Actually, I'll probably throw it at the end. But he sells that for really cheap. I told him I'd throw in a little advertisement for giving me these free ones to put in the pack. So shout out to Tizer for making these free ones. The paid pack is even better though, and it's cheap. It's like five or seven dollars or something. I don't know the exact specific number. Probably should have got it before I recorded this video. But oh well, as you can see, like he makes some good emblems. Everyone makes good emblems. Marshall, whoever made the ones in Flavors Pack. The dude in 4X, I am so sorry I forgot your name man once again. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this one, this one, this one, those all came from Flavors Pack as well. Um, let me just make sure I'm not missing any. This one did as well. I want to give credit where credit's due, I'm like, uh, taking credit for people's work, that's not right. Yeah, okay, I gave everyone credit, we're good. <laughs> and I think that's it. Oh wait, no, there's the Infinity Ward developers as well. I don't know who designed them on the Infinity Ward team. I know you're not watching this video, but shout out to them, I guess, for making some decent- Oh, Caddies and Saki too. If you guys don't know how to change your prestige, you just pull up the console by doing the squiggly line or the tilde thing. It's right next to the one or exclamation point on the keyboard. And you can do slash set player data in one word. Then space prestige and space, let's say I want to go to prestige 10. I'll do that. I'll type in 10. And then as you can see, my prestige changed. If I want to do it again, I'll do slash set player data, space prestige, space uh, six. You can see it changed back to number six. Alright guys, so here's Taz's pack that I was talking about that he's selling for cheap. Like I said, I believe it's like 5 to $7. I don't think it's much more than that, and I know he put in a lot of hard work on these emblems. See, it starts on this page, and you think, oh, that's definitely pretty cool. Oh, this one, is that's highlighted right now, that's part of it as well. But if you go on to the next page, guys, he replaced this whole page with some sick ones. Like, look, the golf one, if you're a Tyler fan, that's the perfect one. There's a bunch of Kirby ones. I don't know, this one didn't get replaced. I might have to talk to him about that. I'm just playing. But yeah, there's a bunch of sick ones here, guys. They all look like stickers, if you ask me. Like, it reminds me of, uh, like stickers. Ooh, that one's really cool. I like that one. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys look at this. Check out these real quick while I do my outro for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like rating on it. Drop a comment. Let me know if you're downloading this pack, which titles and emblems you'll be using from it. And if you are new to my channel, like I said before, please subscribe with post notifications on. I do upload Call of Duty videos daily, most of the time they're IW4X trickshotting, but every once in a while I'll switch it up. So yeah, if you guys enjoy that type of content, this is the channel for you. If you guys are having any trouble at all getting this pack to work, just send me a tweet or stop by to one of my streams or ask me on Discord. I am active on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord daily. All three of those links will be in the description. But yeah, just hit me up on one of those and eventually I'll get you an answer. I really hope to see some people rocking this pack. Like I said, I'm active on Twitter daily, so if you hit some shots with it, make sure to tweet them at me. Like I just said, I do upload daily, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload. That's been everything for today. Peace out, everyone. Neck out.